Among the 12 people who have walked on the lunar surface, one of the last was quite an extraordinary astronaut. Harrison Schmidt held a doctorate in geology, making him the first and still the only professional scientist to set foot on another celestial body. His participation in the Apollo 17 mission was no accident. Once it became clear that this would be NASA's final voyage under the Apollo program, the agency wanted to extract as much scientific value as possible from it. They even altered the original crew lineup to include Schmidt. So, on December 11, 1972, together with Eugene Cernan, Harrison Schmidt successfully landed in the Taurus Littrow Valley. On the moon, the scientist did what his colleagues on Earth could only dream of. He directly studied the local rocks, collected the best samples to send home, and walked, jumped, and often fell under the strange lunar gravity. Those falls, by the way, made mission control quite nervous, since the chance of puncturing a spacesuit and the resulting fatal consequences was far from zero. In the years that followed, scientists carefully analyzed the lunar samples, including those Schmidt had collected. They discovered that the moon's soil contains a surprisingly high amount of a remarkable form of helium, known as helium-3. Decades later, Schmidt himself became one of the key advocates for mining this isotope on the moon, leading a pioneering startup in this field called Interlune. To this day, Schmidt continues to promote the commercial development of the moon, something he and many others believe could not only bring humanity closer to living beyond Earth, but also to realizing the dream of clean nuclear fusion.